know, right? But we still have we still have music, Lots and of variety, music, yes. and music, and variety, and, and music, and donating. Donating. Can there be We'd some like more donating? I think it would be great if we could have some more donating. Right now, we're still raising money. Yeah. For the, I'm going to say it in one breath, Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross. Very nice. I've had to practice that a lot. Yeah, so the we're more coming, tired you get, the harder that is to say. We're coming into the home stretch, and so we're kind of hoping that we can get some more donations rolling in. So if you're here in the square and feel like donating for all the entertainment you've seen today, or if you happen to be watching the stream online, you can go to 30hourday.org. That's 30 ourday.org to or, donate and watch the live stream. Or if you're here in the square, you can find Kelly. Kelly, where are you, Kelly? Kelly's sitting oh. in the production booth over there. She's yeah. got an iPad. She's allowing people to take donation or to, yeah. to put the donation in on her iPad. You get to play with her iPad as an added bonus. Ooh, Daryl just showed up. Or you can give one of our wonderful volunteers a check for a charity of your choice. Uh, those ways it will be tax deductible. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, to, to be honest, we've got a lot. We got, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how long we're supposed to be stretching I for. Think we're so still stretching. I think we might still be stretching. Yeah, she's still tuned in up. So our, our variety show was supposed to end an hour, well, half an hour earlier than it's going to, but we uh, actually snuck in an extra band this morning, uh, sneaking out. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Thank I like, you. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Yeah, yeah, I learned a lot from the comedians wow. overnight. Wow, that was. I did. It was well educational. Oh, are we, oh I are can we stop babbling. Up? This is fantastic, you guys. Okay. You guys can awesome. actually have real entertainment now. Over here. <laughs> so, Asha, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, great. All right. Hello, hello. I um, the first song, first piece of music I'll play for you is um, "Broken Crowns." Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to let my um, right hand cool down just for a second, and um, I'll tell you just a little bit. Um, I have a, a website, which this is really, really fun to spell, but it's A-S-H-I-A-G-R-Z-E-S-I-K.com. Um, I'll be playing a show at Mississippi Studios on July 13th. I'm opening for a band called The Unthinks. Um, they're from the UK. It's really exciting. Um, they're Mercury nominated, which is basically like the British equivalent of the Grammys. Ooh, ah. And um, so that will segue into um, a more peaceful, quieter song that I wrote about um, my grandmother, who's Polish, and I'm Polish as well. So, prosto do nieba. Champagne, że cię było trudne i twarde, patrząc na niebo, czuć się w piekle, ale kartofle tu stasz mi tano, kurczak na stole, piśniowa zupa, to były jej proste marzenia, proste życie, prosto. Przed zimą nie było czasu na romantyczne, słodkie myślenie albo tęsknienie. Ale kartofle tu stała śmietana, kurczak na stole, wiśniowa zupa. To były jej proste marzenia, proste życie, prosto. Czyli jak ona pracuje ciężko i sprawnie czarną fabryką Cegły były ciężkie i wielkie, ręce czerwone, nogi skręcone Ale kar... 
How many more songs do I have? Five minutes? Okay, perfect. So, um, five more songs? <laughs> sure, I can keep going. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, I play with a couple um, of groups in town as well, one being the Portland Cello Project. Um, we have a CD release coming up um, on Thursday and also with Vagabond Opera. And it's um, a cabaret style gypsy klezmer band. And here's uh, the last song I performed with them. And um, and this is another one that I do as well. The first one, I, I play with Portland Chill Project as well. Thank you. 
I guess I'll do one more song. Um, that was Pay to Be Loved. And um, I was actually invited here under kind of like the variety umbrella. And that song I had actually built up with a friend of mine who is um, an aerial artist for Aerial Hoop. And so she played the night character and I played actually a really nerdy secretary. Um, and it was really fun. And um, I'll close off with a real nice sweet love song. Um, we're big for such. Rip up your stitch, open your binding, throw your pages at me, throw your pages at me. You'll be the symbol, I'll be the lie. Well, I'll have a fairy tale to tell away. Tell I'll be the whiskey, we'll make all the diabetics all cry, cry for more. You'll be the eyes, I'll be the crack, wait, wait for the skinnies of children slipping past, slipping past. Oh. Tailpipe, I'll be the exhaust. We'll keep the car running till death do us apart. Do us apart. You be the dirt, I'll be the coffin. We'll keep the dead in and keep the stars from flying off. Oh. So I usually have an accordionist with me, and this is where his solo will be.
that's beautiful. be the hammer will trigger fine fire and bust the balls bust the balls of man you be the spark i'll be the atom we'll blow up cities and laugh in the fallout laugh in the fallout oh, 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 oh. Mashek Jeshik can find me. I have, I have for all of those of you here physically. I have some CDs and some flyers. And um, thank you very much. This is my cello. Have a huge round of applause thank you, for Asha. Asha. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You're phenomenal. All right. This is almost the end of the variety show section of 30 hour day. Yeah. So stick around. Almost the end of the ready show section. There's one. There's one performer without whom we couldn't actually have a variety show section because he was such a huge hit last time, and he's incredibly low maintenance, which is really great for us and really great for the AV team. <laughs> uh, so, are we ready? Mm, and he's got a great feather in his hat. What can you say? Everybody. Oh wait, Charlie's still. Charlie's Charlie, doing stuff. Charlie. Charlie's Charlie. Got Charlie. Some Charlie. Mic Charlie. He wants to so set let's up. go ahead right. and tell you that we're currently uh, raising funds for the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross. Yeah, so yes. you can donate now. Go to 30hourday.org. You can donate for that. Um, for those of you standing in the square who have no idea what the heck is going on here, we have been, <laughs> we're doing a 30-hour telethon so to raise money for local Portland charities. Pair the Oregon Trail chapter of the American Red Cross nice. and the Oregon Food Bank. And we've been broadcasting now for, we're in hour 26 so, of broadcasting. Yeah, strikes. because we can still kind of do math. We have a little over four hours left to go. Yeah. And so, Ooh. and we'll, we'll have, we, you, you want to we stick around for Daryl. We've got some more bands coming up a little bit We do. Bit later, we've got some so. more bands coming up at seven. Yeah. So definitely stick around. Yeah. And if you're here and you feel like donating, you can either do it by check or cash if you want. But if you want to do it online, you can see folks back at the production desk. Kelly, can, raise your hand, please. They can hook you up. The lovely back Kelly. There. She'll let you donate on her iPad. Yeah. It'll be tax Any, deductible. Yeah, so you're all good. I'm thinking we might be ready for Daryl. Yeah. Are Darryl? we ready for Daryl? Just someone give me a thumbs up so we can let him play. Oh, oh without further ado. We got the thumbs up. Okay, we're good to go. Daryl Lee Thompson. What's up, Portland? I'm so honored to be here this, this afternoon on this beautiful, beautiful day. It's not as beautiful as you, Moses, but close. Okay, I got a nice little set here, so check it out. Here it goes. This is the kind of stuff I do when I'm just sitting by myself in my room, so I'm going to give you some of that, all right? This goes out to my friend Karina. She knows who she is. Feel 
no pain She don't feel no She don't feel no pain From the scars Maybe she's from Mars She'd be putting makeup on Sometimes All day long Yeah, yeah Oh Yo, she ain't no faker Heartbreaker She'd be putting speed Into her heart And she don't feel no pain Don't feel no pain. Oh, she don't feel no pain. She don't feel no. She don't feel no pain from the scars. Oh, maybe she's from Mars. She be going round town, downtown, yeah, yeah. One sleeve up and one sleeve down, 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 yeah. Oh, no, she ain't no faker, heartbreaker. She be putting speed into a frown. And she don't feel no pain Ooh, she don't feel no pain Oh, she don't feel no pain She don't feel no ah! From scar highs Maybe she's from Mars. From the skies, yeah, yeah. Oh, she don't feel no pain. From the scar, man, that girl was so good on that damn thing. That's whoa. I just can't stop thinking about that shit. She don't feel no pain Oh, she don't feel no pain She don't feel no effing pain She don't feel no, yeah Yeah, that's how it went anyway You can clap now Hey, Portland, this is for you. Do not tell me this town ain't got no heart. You just gotta poke around. All right, here we go. Check this one out. I got this one. Uh, this is a little thing that I'd like to dedicate to anybody who's lost anybody and wants to be with anybody.
Oh, but one thing about this particular song, this is where, you know, you hear this progression, and when you listen to this progression, this is where the song isn't. Where the song isn't is where it is. <laughs> Have that. Stick that in your sock. So it goes like. Me and my friends was walking Through the cold light of morning It's hard to believe The soul seems to see But I know what I mean Still no dies Here comes the blue skies here comes the springtime When the river runs high And the tears, the tears run dry With everything that dies Shall rise I said love, love, love Stronger than death Say love, 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 love. Stronger, stronger than death. Say now in our lives we hunger for those that we can't touch. It's hard to believe the soul of a seed. Has eyes and nose and flesh and blood and bleeds and smiles but never dies. Here comes the blue skies, yeah. Here comes the springtime when the river runs high and the tears, the tears run dry when everything that dies shall rise. I say love. Love, love is stronger than death. Love, 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 love. <laughs> stronger, stronger than death. Love, 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 love is stronger than death. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the record fades out. Stronger, 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 stronger. You know, like how the record fades out, that kind of shit. All right. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, this is a song that I wrote for, uh, I've written a couple of songs for a friend of mine somewhere. She knows who she is. This belongs to her. And it, it's not a song about her, but it's a song that, I don't write songs about people. I'll write things that inspire me. I'm more like a Picasso type songwriter, so I'm an impressionist or uh, expressionist, if you will. So anyway, this tune is called uh, Made My Bed Today. But this goes out to you, sweetness. I went ahead and made my bed today So glad I had a place for my head to lay So glad I had a place where I could pray uh, Today I pray for all the sick, I pray for all the weak and homeless then Pray for all the people who've been living in a life of sin. Oh, pray for all the people who've been living in a bottle of gin. 
just like me, yeah, just like me. I went ahead and cut my afro today So sad I love the way that it started to fade Right about here is where it finally got played Oh, I play for all the sick, I play for all the weak and homeless then For all the people who've been living in sin Oh, I pray for all the people who've been drinking in a bottle of gin Just like me, yeah, yeah Just like me All right, that's that one. You guys can clap if you want to. I see you in the back of the port. Come on, man. Come on, Portland. I see you playing hacky out there, folks. Get busy. All right, let's do this next one here. We got, uh, oh, this is a good one. I think this is a doozy. This is a special tune for a special person. to make them, to uh, compel them to be special. And speaking of special, this is this particular special event. So any of you people out there online, get out, donate some stuff, man, you know, because, um, you know, pay it forward, freaks. <laughs> that's, a, that's a clean energy, dude. You can't, you can't jack that up. You know, compel yourself. Compel yourself to play it forward, 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 forward. All right, here we go. This is called Broken Halo. Not that, not that, this is actually. <laughs> Oh wow, that's hot. That's hot. Hey, whoa, that's hot. I'm having fun with that. I'm feeling it. Should, should I light a cigarette? All right. Hey, you know what? That is really typical of life though. I mean, you gotta roll with the punches, right? I mean, it's like, anytime I've ever been somewhere by myself, and I'm just chilling, have my little personal epiphanical moment, if that's a word, and I'm sitting there and I'm doing my thing, and all of a sudden there's a freaking Harley coming by. And they got to stop at a stop sign. I'm like, what the, what the fuck is that about? Sorry, mom. Use the F word. I dropped the F bomb. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Retake. Got to be ready for that shit.
It goes. Searching. I've been searching all this time. Oh, I've been searching uh, to the heartache and the pain. Oh, I still haven't found. I think I have another round homeward bound. Falling, falling flat upon my face. I said, Falling, oh, I'm far from your grace. Oh, I still couldn't see what was right in front of me. Homeward bound. Home. Oh, we were so nice and warm. Baby, I'll be coming soon. I said, home. Oh, where it's always safe and sound. Baby, I'll be coming around. Cause I'm homeward bound. Frozen. I've been frozen all my life. What I've been trying to be Oh, and I still haven't found I think I have another round Homeward bound Oh, 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 oh. When it's always nice and warm Baby, I'll be Searching, I've been searching all this time. Oh, I've been searching through the heartache and pain. Hey, and I think that I found. I think I'll still have another round. I think that I see something on the horizon for me. I think that I feel something that may be real. Homeward bound. Yeah, homeward bound. Don't tell me this town ain't got no heart. That's bunk. All right, that's that one. Thank you. It's such an honor to be out here. I love this city. I'm so stoked to be a part of it. I got one more? Okay, so this song is monumental. This is the song that I, I wake up every morning, and when I sing my praises to God and to the Heavenly Father and to all the spirits that be, this is the song that gets me going, and it's written by my friend Derek Hooks, who is paying his debt to society right now. <laughs> Derek, I know you're watching me on TV. I know you're in... No, you stop. You're in your jumpsuit. 
Do your shit. Okay, guys. And this should be the theme song to all y'all. It's called C. I like to dedicate this to 30 hour day. Yeah! I said, lately, I've been checking all my resources. And lately, yeah, yeah, I've been trying to keep all my promises. Well, I've been spinning around and around and around. I'm trying to plant my feet into the ground. And like a seed of love, I'm going to grow like no one knows. Oh, just give me some time, a little sunshine. I keep a positive groove in my mind. I can't go wrong. Oh, that's why I sing this song. Even though I'm very alone, I keep on pushing. I'm trying to find a home. Hey, I keep on pushing. Yeah. I'm searching for some happiness. Keep on pushing. I'm looking for a woman. Anybody out there, huh? I keep on pushing. The day I die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, till the day I die. Thank you for the sun. Keep a positive groove in my mind. I can't go wrong. No, 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 yeah. This is why I sing this song. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even though I'm very alone, I keep on pushing. I'm trying to find a home. Gotta know I keep on pushing. Oh, I'm searching for a woman. I keep on pushing, yeah. Oh, uh, searching for some happiness. Keep on pushing. Fuck you, Fannie Mae and Bernie Mac. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep on pushing. I want to walk inside. Keep on pushing. Till the day, till the day, till the day, till the day that I die. Oh! Thank you, Portland. Thank you, 30 Hour Day. You freaks rock. Freak rock, freak rock. We're the freakies. This is our freaky tree. Don't tell me this town ain't got no heart. You just gotta poke around. Come on over, Daryl. Come see us. Thank you for joining us. Oh, I feel honored. <laughs> I'm honored. This is awesome. We were so happy to have you come back. I'm stoked to be here. I can tell even yeah. after that, you're still yeah. bouncing up. Yeah, I'm fired up right now. I got a so, jump rope or something. <laughs> you by far were, last time, last year, 30 Hour Day, you were like by far the most energetic performer that we had. Yeah. Yeah. By leaps and bounds, and we had no, by no means were our other performers lazy or slackerish <laughs> at all. Uh, snap. <laughs> you just snap. had a, a boundless font of energy, and you still do. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, uh, it's, a, it's a passion that I have. 
that I'm compelled to do. It's, 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 a comp it's compelled, you know? Yeah. It's like, I gotta do it. It's yeah. like watching, when you watch that movie Brian's song, you know? At the end of Brian's song, when you see Gail Sayers or the, his buddy die, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm compelled to do what I do like that. You're gonna make Rick cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. I still got a lot of time. Don't make me cry, man. I said Please, I cry. don't do sports movies. I'll, I'll yeah. tear up every it, time. It's not Chicken and soup. No, yeah, it's not good. Don't, no. Discuss. Then you're gonna start talking about no Rudy or me. something. No I'll effect on me, but Rick is clips. gonna be bawling by the end of the yeah. night. Don't I do just, victory. I'm just saying. You know that this, that this whole environment is like you know, I'm a transplant from Reno, and nothing against Reno, but I felt I've been felt I felt like a rootbound plant for so long. Mm -hmm. In hindsight, being 2020, you come here and now I spend it's just it's, it's flourishing. I'm, I feel things are flourishing. You know. Cool. It's great. Cool. And, cool. and uh, this is a, a really vibrant community. People need to get involved, and they are. And mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just a great place. And especially this time of year, oh my God, the, it's just so green and beautiful. <laughs> Not yeah. as beautiful as you people, but it's close. <laughs> oh, <that's> so sweet. <laughs> so, Daryl, if people wanted to find more of your music and wanted to find out more about you, what, where could they do that online? They would go to uh, reverbnation.com. Um, I've got stuff on MySpace and Facebook. Uh, you could just basically Google me. Google Daryl Lee Thompson. Google Daryl Lee Thompson. Thompson. Google. Yes, Google me, and I'll Google you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's now we're getting a little creepy. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a little spooky. Don't don't Google him yeah, if he's yeah. gonna act that I'm way. I'm at www dot w yeah. dot dot, w dot com. All right, well, Daryl, we can't thank you enough for joining us again. Thank you. It was, it was a great pleasure to have, to have you. Have you. I love your hat and Thank your you. feather. Thank you. It loves you back. <laughs> Peace, <laughs> love, and f forgiveness. Thank you so much, Thank Daryl. You, Daryl. Peace. Daryl Lee Thompson, folks. Awesome. Thank you so awesome much, Daryl. Guy. And we're gonna we're gonna call up one of our sponsors, Steve Galen from Icebreaker. Hi, Thank you, Steve. Steve. How's it going? Uh, coincidentally, this hour is sponsored by Icebreaker. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> when awesome. we um, when we first started talking about doing Thirty Hour Day Two, Steve was one of the first sponsors to jump on board that they wanted to help. Like with, really early. Like really early, and he kept pushing <laughs> us. He's like, "When are we going to start doing this stuff? What's going on?" Hold and, on, Steve. Just wait a minute. <laughs> very supportive with both uh, underwriting the production, as well as providing apparel for us. I've been wearing, and I've mentioned it several times, but I've been wearing I, this, basically this shirt, mm -hmm. for at least 24 hours of the show. Um, and yeah. another one of the Icebreaker shirts for for the remaining chunk. So um, I've we been wearing Icebreaker stuff. We made him put on a black stuff. shirt for a few minutes. Yeah, just to, just to mix it up. But um, so why don't, you, why don't you tell us a little bit about Icebreaker and the, and the clothing line and, and where you guys focus. Sure, thanks. And, and by the way, congratulations. I see we're hour 27. And so you guys are doing phenomenal. And I really appreciate the work you and all the volunteers are doing, uh, all of you guys out there and that have been here for the last 27 hours and will be here for uh, two and a half more, it sounds like. And then, of course, several hours of tear down. Tear down. Wait, wait, so, we only have two and a half hours left? <laughs> Wait, what time is it? I don't know. It's like six, must be close to 6.30. So thank yeah. you for all that. Yeah. Uh, Three and a half hours, right? Three and a half. Okay, oh, I'm God. sorry. Yep. You got me really excited. Yeah, I got you on there. Oh. <laughs> right. I'm trying to sorry. keep you going through. through. False See it through. man. False um, so Icebreaker is actually a clothing company based in New Zealand. But the North American office uh, is here in Portland, the footwear and apparel capital of North mm -hmm. America, yep. and all of the product design is done here. So we hire people from a lot of different companies around here. I've worked at Nike in the past, and so a lot of there's a lot of ex-Nike people mm -hmm. and ex-Adidas and Columbia Sportswear, and now and Lucy and those types of companies. So it's a great place to to have a um, a presence. And so Icebreaker, all of our clothing is merino wool, which frankly, before I got the message through LinkedIn that somebody was trying to recruit me. I had never heard of Merino. And so I started wearing the clothing and uh, it was just a phenomenal product. And so for me, that was number one. Whatever company I'm gonna work for, I have to believe in the product. Yep. And so the product was just phenomenal. That was number one. And number two, that's a very authentic story, the way the company got started in New Zealand with basically, a, it sort of echoes, it's a little mini version of the Nike story because <laughs> there's a, there's an, uh, Innovator, so Nike had Bowerman, and uh, in our case is a sheep farmer called 
Breckenridge, who is making uh, basically his own product and selling it out of his own bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then the marketing genius, uh, in the case of Nike, Phil Knight, in our case, Jeremy Moon, uh, Night met that moon. met that wow. farmer, mm -hmm. Night moon, uh, met that farmer and started wearing the clothes and he goes the world needs to know about this stuff yeah. and that was in 1995 and it's just been very rapid growth globally ever since then yep. so yeah and I didn't know what to expect I mean I'd worn merino wool like mm -hmm. sweaters and stuff before yeah. but it feels very much like cotton I mean it's it's yeah. got, it's got a very similar feel and it's super comfy it's very it's yeah and warm time. weather cold weather yeah, yeah, yeah. we have something for every condition yeah. so yeah. yeah and so the other thing you guys are doing is if people wanted to buy some of your apparel online there you guys are offering a discount through 30 hour day yeah right? there was a block earlier this morning during yep. a sponsor time and there's a block right now yep. so um uh from now it started i think at five but through 9 p.m there um if you just use the discount code 30 HD okay. for 30 hour day. 30 Zero HD, HD. Same as yep. the your guys' hashtag. Yep. Yep. Um, you'll get 15% off any purchase. So okay. you can purchase as much nice. or as little as you want. Great. And that's icebreaker.com. Cool. And uh, that's I run the e commerce business. So that's my uh, little yep. piece of that world. So, yep. yeah. Cool. So please show your support for one of our generous sponsors. Again, you can buy products, 15% discount. That's 30HD for the discount. Cool. Code. And the website? Yes, icebreaker.com. Icebreaker.com. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. We sure, really yeah, appreciate you your support. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Cool. All right, all right. Good Thanks to see you. Yeah. Thank you. It's good, good to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> all right. <sighs> I'm kind of hungry. So am I. I don't see somebody who could help us with that. I think this hunger. is one of those She's times over when we're just supposed to sit here and wait for Skinny to, to get her little She's got an apron on. Oh, yes, and she very daintily and, and skillfully jumped over that uh, little rope. Could you? Yeah. Hello, Crystal. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I like your shoes. Thank you. I can always count. Like, she's the one girl from the Portland Tech community that can always count uh, on making me feel at home she-wise. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> there's, not a, there's not a lot of us with the, with the pretty shoes. Absolutely. I think the tech community can always benefit by a good shoe. I agree. A nice little peep-toe pump. I went for peep-toe sling back. Absolutely. Yeah, you know. But I had to wear these things for 30 hours, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Why are you That's here, good. Crystal? I am here to talk about my new experiment called Pie Lab. It is a pie cart where we will also be doing uh, sociology and behavioral economics experiments. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Tell me more. Uh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> do I get Still, pie? Let, let okay. Yes. Let's right, let's let, stop and ask this question. Okay. Does the pie cart have pie in it? The pie cart has pie, oh. ice cream, and coffee. Pie, oh. ice cream, and coffee. Okay, nice. that answers a few questions. Good. Now onto the sociology experimentation. <laughs> What the heck are you doing? <laughs> okay, so basically there will be... And it's really cute, by the by. But Thank you. We'll see it later. We'll get, we'll get down there yeah. in, a, in a sec. Um, well, we'll do different sorts of games, some of which you will know you're playing, and a few of them you won't. None of them are mean, but some of them are a little bit strange and fun. Mm. Like, one is called Pie It Forward, and in Pie It Forward... You don't get what you order, you get what the person that came in line before you ordered. And the person who comes after you gets what you ordered. So you can kind of set them up for a really good surprise, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, or uh, maybe not. I don't, it can't be that, that bad. Was, You're that still was not a reaction pie. to the pie, it was <laughs> cold, the, cold the chill. <laughs> Awake for too long, cold chill, sorry. Yeah. That was not a reaction to Crystal's pie. <laughs> or her experimentation. So that's a game that you couldn't people. play if you have food allergies. Probably not. No, yeah. I think if you have food allergies, it's, it's not going to work out. But we won't play that game all the time. So okay. if you don't like a game one day, you can come back and play a game another day. Uh -huh. hmm. So where did you come up with the idea for PDX Pi Lab? Is Pi it Pi Lab PDX? Pi Lab PDX. Pi Lab PDX on Twitter. Pi Lab um. PDX on Twitter. <laughs> also skinny on Twitter. Yes. Um, the idea came from a blog post that I read by Cable Sasser of Panic, and he, uh, they do a lot of business in Japan. And so they were at, in Japan, 
and they happened upon this little cafe that looked like any other normal cafe, except when they got up to the front, they tried to explain in sort of broken English what was going on. And it was that game where you don't get what you order, you get what the person before you order. And um, I just thought it was such a fascinating idea. Mm -hmm. And I turned it over in my head for a few months, and I thought, that's so cool. You know, Portland's such a weird city, and I think they would really love that. I really wish somebody would build that. <laughs> really wish somebody. I wish somebody would build that. If and you want something thought, done right, I should build this. Have skinny do so, it. So that was the idea, and you know, I I think that I settled on pie just because that you know my granny raised me in the south, and I grew up eating homemade pies, and I have all of her recipes, and you know that's what I can do. Yeah. So, so in theory, it could have been done with any food item. It could. But you know, the mystery cafe in, in was Portland, it's either pie or bacon, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> or bacon those are pie. Two choices. The, the, right. Will they and be we bacon put pie? Cupcakes out of business. Cupcakes are just really you know, these these overpriced three dollar cupcakes. We need to show them up. Well, let's not hurt the the. Un- let's the not hurt the cup- cupcake let's industry. Not- <laughs> Come on, I like a good cupcake. There's a little healthy rivalry between the pie and the cupcake people. I like a good cupcake. <laughs> Why couldn't you make a cupcake sized pie? You a tort? Shh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Shh. I was trying to dazzle you with my knowledge. I'm so dazzled. Culinary. <laughs> wow, stuff. I'm dazzled by your culinary knowledge. Yeah, thank you. No, no fine. No, I'm not. So do we get pie? I have a handmade strawberry rhubarb pie. Ooh, I like strawberry for rhubarb. The e- so and ice cream. Do you have a game prepared? I don't have a game um, prepared let's, because... Let's do pie it forward since she only has one pie. <laughs> okay, I'll go I'll get, You go first, and I'll get what you ordered. <laughs> okay. All right. Do I get pie? You get nothing because you're the first to order. Yeah, how does that work with the, per- the first person that orders the pie? I have to make the first order. Oh. Oh, you have to make the first order because you're not Which getting I anything. I could, you know, do something random. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you going to make a lemon meringue pie? I was making a lemon meringue pie for today, but ran out of time, and oh. it didn't have time to set up. So I was going to bring Cammy a lemon meringue. Cammy never gets lemon pie. None yeah, of the pie cards in Portland pie. ever give me lemon pie. There will be except on lemon my birthday. meringue pie. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. That's one of my favorites. It's my very favorite. Yes. All right. So are should we, we head down Are we to ready? The, are we ready? Reed, are we ready to go down to the car? Okay. Yeah, let him go down first, because, okay. you know, he's not wearing heels. Okay. Huh. Watch it there. Yeah, let's go order. That first step's yeah. a doozy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you go. You're ordering first. <laughs> I have a piece pie of pie. Pie is greater please? than infinity. Pie is greater than infinity. <laughs> yes. Did we, get the, did we get the cute little cart? I'm cart. just wondering. The adorable little cart? I'm going to have some pie. I like pie. I'm yeah. all hungry. Of course you like pie. You work at pie. <laughs> that's and it will that's true. Pie. Oh, really? Oh, it's going to be set up outside pie. Pie oh, cart. Good. So Pie Lab PDX is going to be set, outsi- set so up be, outside of pie. So it be pie squared, yes. which is pie yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. radius and circumference and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Do I get ice cream, too? Yes. <gasps> mm. Yay. <laughs> oh no. no! No! Unless you'd like to no. come over. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> no. See. Yeah. Mm-mm. I'm gonna come back here. Okay. I want to see what's going on. I'm oh stay my by god! The, the pie sink. smells so good. Hi, ice cream. Hi, ice. Hi, ice. Excellent. Mm. Oh, and I'm gonna eat my ice cream with a fork. Oh, we're supposed to have s'mores, but they're It's okay. I understand. I'm all good. It's fine. It's fine. It just reminds me of my ex-boyfriend who always ate ice cream with a fork because he thought that spoons taste funny. <laughs> that's not. It's not a joke. <laughs> he really did think they that spoons tasted taste funny. funny. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. I could use some pie. And then you can. Yeah. All the pie can come back up on stage. Because we all know I like to eat in front of people. That's right. Thank you. All right. I have to say the pie is still warm. Can I get a fork? 
Crystal, are you gonna have some pie? I'll help you out. Just <laughs> Crystal's eating a lot of pie. And let me set this down. I'll help you back. So there. Crystal's gonna come up and talk <laughs> while we eat the pie, because I can't manage it otherwise. So you you go ahead and. Talk about these experiments. I have the rest of the pie to myself, so. <laughs> yeah, you can have all that. I can pie. have all the rest. And when are you when are you going to be opening? And what's when are people going to be able to find you? We will be that? opening in the next month for sure. Waiting on some legal paperwork for permitting and such, um, sidewalk permits and all, because we will be on the sidewalk, not in a cart pod. So. Yeah, I have to mention that Crystal rushed the, the cart creation yes. in order to be ready in time for 30 hour day. Yes. And it made me incredibly happy, as does the pie. I was a little bit scared because I, I had never built a, a food cart before and didn't know what all the uh, ins and outs of that were, but uh, decided that 30 hour day was an excellent excuse to get our act together and nothing like a deadline to yeah, exactly. <laughs> get well, you and in you're, here. You're obviously far more mobile than a lot of the carts, too. I mean, you're more yes. like a hot dog exactly. cart kind of it's, That's how I've been explaining it, is like a tiny little hot dog cart, except it's high, which is fantastic. So it's on wheels. How do you move it? I mean, does it get into a truck? Can you pull it on a bike? What's, what's the deal here? It, it's just in the back of a truck right now, and it's going to live inside um, Portland Incubator Experiment at night. And then I pull it out, stock it up, put the hot coffee Do we in. get all the leftover pie? <laughs> No, From perhaps. Each day. <laughs> That's awesome. Those boys do not need all that you sugar. They will be bouncy and crazy. I have to say, though, um, it's all very circular because uh, uh, Pi, the Portland Incubator Experiment, was the home of the last 30 hour day. That's right. That's right. And I, I went in and talked to Rennie last week about um, being able to locate there. And he says that the reason that Portland, Portland Incubator Experiment is named that is because Dan Wyden has an obsession with pie. And Rennie knew that if he named it pie, that Dan would sign off on it. Right. That's, yeah, that's, the, that's absolutely true. <laughs> scary. I'm so happy before I knew it, pie. I was being drug up to the, <laughs> the top floor. I didn't even know. Rennie just said, come on, let's go. And I said yes, because that's what you say when Rennie Gleason says, let's go. So we. It's true, it's the hair. You do. It's yeah. the hair. It's the enthusiasm and, and the, the hair. hair. Yeah. yeah. So I went dashing up the, the stairwell and I realized, oh, I'm going to go tell Dan Wyden about my story. And he was very excited about it and uh, said yes immediately. So I couldn't have had any better uh, experience with that. They were super supportive. Where's the pie created? The pie is created um, actually using, um, we have a commissary. You have to have a commissary to be legal to create, you know, pie for public consumption. You have to have a food handler's permit. The people of Portland should be happy that, that it's all very nicely regulated. And you did a good job on that. Thank you, it's excellent pie. <laughs> I should mention that <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of pie. There are very few pies I like. Lemon meringue clearly being my favorite. Chocolate cream pie also good. Also, yes. I, I adore Chocolate good strawberry cream. rhubarb. Excellent. And then I like savory pies, but. Are you concentrating on the, the it's sweet pies? It's gonna be sweet pies. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet pies because I wanted to build the cart as simply as possible mm -hmm. and not have a lot of um, I, there's no burners or hot trays or you know any of that yeah. kind of stuff. Uh, just Although that pie is still warm. Yeah. It is still warm it's because warm. it mm -hmm. came out of the oven about an hour yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and warm. It's really good. Yeah. So that's it. That's the story. Cool. Excellent. Well, that's awesome. Well, Crystal, thank you so much for coming down. Thank you for, thank for, you for debuting having your this. cart. And for coming it's adorable. back to 30 Hour Day. We had yes. you last time. You were here yes. last time doing the wine segment yes. with Ryan Snyder. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's great to have you. All right. Well, Crystal, Good thank you back. so much. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. I hope everyone gets a chance to try the pie part. Yeah, come on, crew, pie. Mm. Yeah, pie maybe we crew. wheel it away, but I'm, I'm hoping Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, could you come on up for a minute? Uh, yes. hmm? <laughs> Frankie's got a strip before <laughs> she can come up. <laughs> it's a little too, a little too clothed. 
Oh, no, you can leave the pie. Leave the pie. You come up. We want to talk to you about you, not about the pie. Thank you, Crystal. You are darling. You're just ready to, like, a little pinup. I love it. (laughs) What, is it my turn? It's your turn. Yes. But I already did After this. all the work you did, it's finally your turn. I already been turn. up on this house. No, I haven't. You, you've been up here. No, I haven't. Not on the couch. Yes, not here. on the I couch. You I saw you on your head. <sighs> yes. I am you were not up on the couch to admitted. talk to us. Yeah. But we wanted you to come up because, you know, unlike Morgan, who we knew we could not convince to get up <laughs> on the stage, so we had to attack her on the bricks earlier to That's get her on sin. camera. She needed, she needed to be recognized. Although she is on the stage now, yes, I mean, to be fair, she is <laughs> sitting on the stage. So as I was saying earlier, I delegated a lot of the um, booking to Morgan for the variety show, which is the most, to be fair, booking the variety show is the most difficult part of booking 30 hour day. I can book a lot of other stuff. I can slot in bands here. I can slot in bands there. Interviews, sponsors, uh, interesting stuff, DJs, podcasts. I can slot all that in, but when it comes to the variety show, when you have a band, an entertainer, a band, an entertainer, and all of it in such a tight schedule, Mm -hmm. it was a little too much for me to handle on my own. And so I asked Morgan, who we suckered into doing it last time. But Morgan decided that that was a lot of work because she had to do it all on her own last time. I can't imagine. So she suckered uh, two wonderful women into helping her, the first being Virginia Jones, who was on stage earlier today doing her stand-up and um, a skit, and then Frankie Tees, who did all of the variety acts. Also, who gave us dance lessons last night. Yes. How did you like the dance lesson? You know, I'll be honest, there was one gentleman that I was dancing with Check. who was afraid of me oh. and would not lead. I mean, he wasn't like afraid of me, like, she's going to hurt me, but like, he seemed uh, intimidated. Can we hear a powerful woman? He wouldn't lead me, and so I was like really <laughs> confused and could not dance. And then when I went and danced with Jason Grigsby, Jason was like, Cammy, this is how it goes. And I was like, okay. And then he taught me to waltz, too. He was like, do you fun. know to waltz? One, and I was like, two, no. Three, one, two, three. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So and how did Rick like the dance lesson? Rick went and hid. It went too fast, huh, Rick? Yeah. That was the fastest fast. lesson I've ever taught. 15 minutes yeah. is a little challenging. I needed more time. You did great, though. All right. If you he, say one, so. he two, went and hid. rock step. Yeah. I know it's in there. I'll, he I'll went practice. and hid. Thanks for playing along. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Everyone hates when they first are going to learn to dance because they don't think they can. You know what's, I've heard that for 15 years. You know what's more difficult than learning how to dance? No. Learning how to dance during a 30-hour telephone on <laughs> camera. <laughs> no, I really appreciate <laughs> you participating. In 15 you minutes. You have to. <laughs> In 15 minutes you learning to good. dance on a 30-hour telethon on camera. A little difficult. So we wanted to have you come up because... Uh, uh, Producing stuff is not, it wasn't like, hey, let's take Frankie, who doesn't know how to produce a show, and ask her to get us a bunch of uh, acts. It was, hey, let's go get producer Frankie to get a bunch of acts for us. Uh And so we wanted you to come up and talk about your website and talk about what it is that you do. Well, first, thanks for having me. It was such an honor and pleasure to work with you guys. I met you through Morgan, and I respect her. And She's come to our burlesque shows. I produce burlesque shows and ballroom events combination. And we have been doing Arbolet shows in Portland for about two years, and they include a lot of variety, and that's how I got into this. Mm -hmm. And we usually have one to two jugglers per show. Ironically, I don't know whether it was the weather or what I say to all your the jugglers in Portland. You failed me. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But next time in December, perhaps we can get this to happen. But anyway, I love jugglers Mm -hmm. and variety acts Mm -hmm. and as you know Portland is really wonderful uh, fodder ground for amazing talent amazing entertainers I keep trying to when I have tried to leave here it doesn't work out well because I miss all the wonderfulness just stop trying so we have a tease time is the name of the burlesque show Mm mm-hmm I would love to have you as our guest to enjoy that without running around or hosting (laughs) and see some variety. Uh Um, It is a pleasure because my job as a producer, and I know Morgan can agree with this, is you get to bring talented people before audiences that have never seen them. And I'm one of the biggest fans. Scoot over. Look who's joining us. You know, if you're going to keep talking about me (laughs) over and over and over again, I have to show up and, you know, represent. We can share. 
we'll share. Yeah, no, we got wait, one. Cammy's we got another. My very we got another mic. mic. Yeah, we're in good shape. Well, I was so fascinated with the idea of running a live telethon. The only telethon I was ever a part of before was Jerry, Lee, Jerry Lewis Telethon in San Francisco. I got to anchor and toss, mm -hmm. and so that was pretty cool. And mm -hmm. you guys are doing something so ambitious. When I read it was a 30-hour day and a live telethon, of course, I was like, what? No way. 30 hours of variety show. I'm used to booking one and a half to two hours of variety. <laughs> Surely no one's Five minute that act, stupid. You know? So it was just wonder. It's great. It's been great. Thank Good. you. Yeah. We're all just suckers here. And I tried to tell <laughs> as many people as possible about how to donate. I hope that we have done something about that. Yeah. Speaking of how to donate, you could go to 30hourday.org, 30hourday.org, and you can donate now. Uh, you can also donate after the event. If you go home and it's after 10 o'clock tonight, yeah. you can still donate through Causes on Facebook. Yeah, yeah we, do, will keep it, we will keep it open. Yeah, and we you don't have to have a Facebook account. That's a right. misconception that we've been dealing with. You do not need a Facebook account to donate. That's oh, correct. Cool. You don't have to sign up for Facebook. You, you can just donate through Causes. Yep. Cool. Yeah, and, and we if would you like haven't to, we donated... Would like to see, yeah. Oh, I'm going to come after you. Morgan put people. a lot of work into entertaining you. <laughs> if you don't donate, oh. She, she, she may get a little upset. You? Yeah, There's no. There's some banter. She's a misunderstood mm -hmm. banter going on. And I'm going to have to deal with it if she's the one. You, you do know that if Morgan's upset, I have to. Yeah, she's my muscle over it here. It falls on me to calm her down. <laughs> Cammy's the muscle. The only way to calm her down is usually to hurt somebody. <laughs>